technical difficulties, y'all. Um, yeah, actually, I'm not quite sure what just transpired over the past few seconds while we were trying to fix my microphone. It, it just kind of decided... I, it, oh, yeah. it, it just decided that it didn't want to exist, right? But, um, here we go. We're good now. Let's start rolling again, I guess. Unless we want to wait a second. Um, no. I think it's good. Yeah, we're good. Alright, remember, yeah, not take taking say, anything. Holy shit, Alex. We did it. I mean, can you believe Not even gonna look at it. Anything. True. Was it? Yeah. Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, no, no, go, go. I think she's not to actually. Oh no, it was. I didn't see this the first time. Oh yeah, we did. Devil in the deep. I'm fully aware that I'm skipping over some things, but it's necessary because I was told not to take anything. So we not do that. So I'm not gonna touch anything and risk it getting something taken. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm in GFA knife now. I think I wet my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. I think I wet my wetsuit. Life gives <laughs> Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. I didn't get to do this the first time. This has been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> do we do this the first time? Oh, oh no. Julia! Oh my god! Oh, my. Just don't touch anything else, please! I'm not taking anything, leave me alone. Not doing it. Do I like, have to take something? Here, maybe Good I'll just. God. Like, I'll move him, you know? I don't have to take it, I just have to. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. No. Don't. Mm -hmm. No, uh. I don't, don't go back, I guess. He's holding something. I think I put this back, don't I? Put it uh, back here. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. What am I missing? Check it out. 
They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Brad told me that sometimes they would take a bomber and turn it into a search and rescue plane. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. You know, honestly, I don't want to know what else we can find. I'm not touching that. Oh, wait, he already went up there. Which means there's no reason to go for it. On, on the hopeful side, we'll be able to leave without me taking anything. Because one of the main things... Oh, there we go. What about a homeboy? What about the boomstick? Don't touch that. Oh God, help. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Mm. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's right time. I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia... I'm serious. Huh. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> so, what else are you gonna do to me, huh? What do you mean so by that? Right, hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, what, what do you mean by that? death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. What are, you, what are you trying to get into? Well, is it not a tradition for married couples to sell each other's organs? No, I don't think it is, man. Huh, but I've been doing that wrong. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, what happens if we, we don't decompress? decompress? Huh? What happens if we don't? That premonition in there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Uh, uh. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is oh. going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. <laughs> oh. Anyways, well, welcome to my solo playthrough of. <laughs> welcome to my solo playthrough. Welcome to my solo playthrough of uh, Men of Men of Medan. I am now completely alone in this room, far away from anybody else who could possibly so fart on me. I'll tell you what happened, Jacob just shat everywhere. <laughs> Come up and let's celebrate. Oh, let's. <laughs> oh God, Russian man. Is he on? Now completely alone. Robo play. Anyways, well, well. Ha <laughs> ha!
dying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, it's about to do the thing. Oh, that was funny. Alright, let's. Yep. Do that again or I'll beat the hell out of you. Hey, it's our buddy! Intrepid adventurers, then. <laughs> Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem Slapping out it. of their depth. And Judy, the <laughs> Alex's life. It's and he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say <laughs> arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong. Forthright. Stubborn. Do I detect a spot? What is what does Vor dot red mean? Let the entirety of this guy, help them to this this guy's entire name is in Russian. Out. You're doing well. Hey, yo, can we get a translator up in here? out of the jaws of certain death well certain i mean that's relative and this meatball meatball this meatball pulls a ring out of god knows where yeah where did you hide the ring a lady never tells well needless to say this lady was impressed uh, wait did no he just call himself a woman wasn't comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped fliss maybe he decided hey i'll drink some yeah, and, said yet. Drunk. and since he was drunk he forgot to bring it to us and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for Are you Brad or am I Brad? You're Brad. So, all right. how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Oh, you're still you're so fine, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So... I guess we should talk about what Hey, that's plans. a funny play on Eventually. words. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. Oh. The second you said yes. I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. <laughs> like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Whoa! figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. I don't so, know how to breathe. How's it feel to be a man post proposal? I'm aware. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. I wanna moonwalk away. Oh, what am I what am I doing? Breathing. Why'd you do it on the dime? Turn that hoe back on. Oh no. 
pretty romantic. I'm so confused. I don't even know what I'm doing. What was I told to do? You told me to follow my heart. But one, I'm not that savvy. And two, I was talking about med school. Can I? You can press options to look at your objective. Get the nav pad. Oh, if it's on the. Are we going again tomorrow? Did I miss this? Yeah. No, that's what we grabbed at the bottom of the ocean. No, but like when we first played. Right here. Oh, yeah, you didn't ever get it. Because you were looking at stuff. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. Alright, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? Uh, so we you think, Ken? Coordinates? We have, uh, we have like coordinates, quite a few right. people watching now. That's the plane's destination? You impressive, think we get that actually. It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Um, you find anything else? Well, we had three a second ago, and now we're down to two. On the inside, it was filled with life rafts. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, after the war, they refitted a lot of the long. Uh, honestly, two is actually really great compared to the fact that you know, on a regular me, night when we stream on my channel, I get two oh, on, we've been through this at already. most, and I have 150. No, hey. But you have six, so two is actually really good. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. They're like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. That's true. Respect their resting Fred, place. You got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, <laughs> Seems legit. from the rest of the world. Yeah. A lone beacon in the night, sailors' respite. Oh. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. Oh my God! Misty really? Morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. <gasps> a she woman down the beach. That's he hot. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Let's move. Key of the one track mine. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey. No back seats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees 
It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so gross. Ah, it's hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. It's pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> you should all turn in. There's some weather. Have you on the cheese there, uh -uh. corn dog? No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, <laughs> yes. we're all required. One more beer before hitting the egg. What regular issues are these? <laughs> it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Ten four. <laughs> Weave. Catch up at your turn. You should definitely buy this trilogy so that we can play it together online. Okay. I don't think there are any in this one. Oh yeah, there is. Cover it gets ass beat. Hey, be ready. It's gonna be square. Or circle. Square or circle. One eye open when I'm sleep. Sleep. Anyways, folks, that is going to be where we end off our Men of Medan stream for tonight. Um, we got about an hour and 30 minutes in, if you put Come both on. put both parts together, because the first part kind of messed up. But, um, recap. So far, we have played as a guy from World War II with some weird looking mist that caused some very odd things to happen. A lot of people died, probably everybody died. And now we're playing as the main characters who have just been kidnapped on their own boat. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope y'all are willing to tune in next time we live stream and make sure you have a good night. Now, while we end the stream. I am going to politely a I'm going to politely ask that you wear your seatbelts and stay hydrated. And always make sure to stay safe. Have a good night.